Hello there everyone, my name is Nathan Birch. Today we're going to be doing our lesson three, hands-on exercise three, using forms. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, I have my JavaScript one folder here for our class. Lesson three, I'll make a new, a new file called hands-on three. Let's see, hands-on three.js. And then I'll also make an HTML file, hands-on three.html. Okay, our HTML, let's go ahead and use our exclamation mark to start this thing off. I'll say lesson three, uh, activity three. And then let's see, so we need a form. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in form and hit tab. Uh, action, we're gonna leave blank for now, but we will have a couple of inputs. And if you don't know how to use HTML forms yet, uh, I'm just gonna type in HTML form. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, W3Schools comes up, and so look at this. We have a label, input, label, input, and a submit button. And let me just look at that real quick for you guys. Okay, so you can see this goes to a PHP action. We're not going to have any type of a back end. So we're not going to have an action right now. Uh, but just to give you guys an idea, I could say, please enter your first name. Okay, I could put that in a label. I don't really have to. Um, and then maybe I'll say uh, birthday party uh, attendee list. And let's put that in a nice H1 tag. Okay. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to open this up in the browser. Okay. Birthday party attendee list. Please enter your first name. And we have an input box here. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a break. And I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it. Let me try that one more time. There we go. Please enter your last name. And uh, let's go ahead and add another break. And let's add a button so that we can submit it. All right. So we need a couple of things. To be able to get data from our inputs, we're going to need. So let's go ahead and put a name here. So I'm going to say the name of this is going to be first. And then we'll add a name attribute to this one as well for last. Okay, this will allow us to be able to retrieve the data from this form. Let's actually give the form a name as well. I'll say birthday form. Okay, and like I said, we're not going to use the action right now. We do not have a back end for that. All right, and then button, uh, for this button, we'll just say type is submit. So we can actually submit this and we'll say save attendee. And let's save that. All right, well, we have our form. Let's add an event for us to be able to um, call a, fu a function from this. So I could add a button right here or an on click like we've done before, uh, but I want to uh, show you guys how to use an event. So I'm just going to say on submit. So when this form is submitted, we're going to go ahead and do something. And so I'm going to say um, add attendee. We'll call our add attendee function. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. Our HTML is looking pretty good so far. Uh, the one thing that I want to add uh, is a list. Um, of attendees that we already have going. So down here, I'm just going to make, uh, this is called an unordered list. And we have a list item. And let me actually, I'll take that list item out because we don't have anyone attending yet. But I will add an ID to this unordered list so it's easy to access from our JavaScript. And I'll say attendees. Okay. And then right here, I'll just say uh, H2, people attending. Okay. All right. So let's go over to our JavaScript and let's make that function. So I'll say function, add attendee. And we need to somehow isolate this form. So if I look back at the name. So here's the name. And let's just play around here for a sec. So I'm going to say alert. 
uh, and I'll say birthday form dot and then I want to get uh, the first right here. Okay, let's see what happens if I just alert that. Let's see if it recognizes that. So I'm gonna put in a first name here, save attendee, and nothing happened. Okay, uh, let's make sure that this is actually working. I'm just gonna put that in quotation marks. And if this works, it won't matter what I type in here, but it should display that. And it's not. So I'm going to open up my developer tools. So I'll hit inspect. And nothing. I don't have any errors. My function, my function just is not getting called. So I'm going to come back over here. And I actually am going to put uh, this function call down here on the button. We can use a different event here in a little bit. So I'll say on click and add that function call. And we're going to take that out for a sec. All right, so coming back over here, we can close all of that stuff. We can close that too, and that too. Wow, where'd the other thing go? All right, open with live server. And interesting. I still don't have any errors. And looking at this, I think I forgot to put our JavaScript file in here. That's a common mistake to make. So I'm going to put that in there. Hands on 3.js. Hit save. And there we go. Birthday form dot first. All right. Just to, out of curiosity, I'm going to see if I can put this back over here. Um, right here. So on submit. Let's see if we can call that from right there. Okay, and yep, that did work. So we'll leave it there. We can take that off again and save that. And then in here, let's try taking this off. And let's see if we can actually get that first name out. So Nathan and save attendee. Nothing. Well, look at that. So we have an object. It's recognizing it as an HTML input element so we did find it which is good now i just have to say dot value and we should be able to retrieve that okay so i'll type in nathan again and save attendee and look at that there's our first name okay so uh we have that so we'll be able to get the last one as well so what we want to do is create a name string so i'm going to say let name equals and i'll actually go like this i'll say We'll get the first name plus and then an empty space and then we'll paste that again but this second one is last that red line's there because i forgot the plus okay and now let's go ahead and alert the name just to test it so i'll say nathan birch and look at that okay our name's working out great okay so we have done half of our job so far we have made the form and we get data from the form. Now we want to put that name under here, underneath the people attending. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take that out and we're going to say document dot get element by ID. And I think we just called it attendees. Let's look hands on three attendees. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So we have uh, our attendees. And I'm just going to call this let um, L, short for element, equals that. So that's the element that we want to have. Okay, now I'm just going to Google uh, JavaScript add li to ul. Okay, how can we append a child to this? Um, so we'll go ahead, let's go to W3Schools. And you can see. Uh, we have create element. Well, that's not really what we want. All right. We have a list, a pen child. That's not really what I want either. Well, let's try it. Let's, let's just try something. So uh, now let's go ahead and create an li. So I'll say um, let li equals um, document dot create element li. OK, 
Okay, so we have that. And then on that, we're going to go ahead and say uh, li.append child. Oops. So li.append child. And we'll go in here, we'll go ahead and say document dot. Uh, create text node and we'll say uh, name is what we're going to add into there. Okay, so we've added the data that we need to to our li. Now we just need to say our element, which is our ul dot append child, and we'll add our li onto there. Okay, and that should be all we need to do. Let's go ahead and rename this. Oops. to be ul that'll make a little bit more sense okay and then it should just add it to the bottom of our list let's try it so i'll say nathan birch Ooh, it added it for a quick second okay but then it was gone okay so this will be perfect because now we'll have a chance to use um our on submit event again so let's head back over to our HTML. And in here, we're just going to go ahead and add inside of our on submit. Uh, I could run more JavaScript here. I could call multiple functions. But anytime, just like I would in regular JavaScript, I just have to put a semicolon. And then in here, I'm just going to say return false. And this will make it so that it will run this as well. And it'll make it so that it doesn't kind of like refresh that. So I'm going to hit save. And let's try this. I'm going to put Nathan Birch and save attendee. And there we go. Okay, let's try another one. Sarah Birch and Sarah Johnson. Let's put Daisy Johnson. Okay, so you can see we have a couple of things going on here, right? We're able to get this data from the form and then add it back into the DOM in a different place. Now, if I had a back end, if I had a database, I could very easily save this to a database as well. And I can do pretty much anything I want once I have it in the JavaScript. But you can see right here, I'm able to create, um, so I isolate the UL that, that we made. Um, we could have created it right here if we had wanted to, if we had want, wanted to. Uh, but then we create a new LI, and then we add the data to it, we create a text node for it, and then we append that LI to the UL. And then we're able to have this generate. Uh, I can look at this actually, let's, let's go ahead and look at the, the DOM in here. So here's our UL attendees, and look at that. LI Nathan Birch, LI Sarah Birch, LI Daisy Johnson. Okay, and we're able to just add on to that. Let's do it one more time. Um, and I'm just gonna say fill. Okay, and you can see this just popped up down there. All right, and so you can see our JavaScript is, is creating these elements for us. All right, uh, let's go double check. I think that we got everything on here. Yeah, I dated to a list on the page for the user to see. Okay, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know.